Hello and welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi and we are going to read for August 10th, 2022 or whenever this message reaches you because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do what I like to call all in. All in. We're going to shuffle the cards. right shuffle the cards um, see what messages spirit has for us today and then we're going to set the deck down Don't flip it over and we're going to tell the story until spirit says stop okay so spirit who Okay, what messages do you have for the collective today? Here we go. Hmm, already. So you're expecting good things. Mm hmm. You're expecting big things. Money, lots of it. You don't want to think about it anymore. You're also ready for a new change with the death card. Like whatever's been working up until now is um, hitting, yes, a fever pitch. And you are willing to do the work that it takes. You understand that you have what it takes. You have what it takes to be able to create this life that you want for yourself. And this uh, mental thing that you've got going on, yeah, you're about over it. And you're ready to make a change. Come on with the Two of Pentacles. You're ready to make a change. So, leaving behind what you know is going to be a bit painful. Um, there is going to be malicious gossip surrounding you making this change. And a lot of that has to do with what people were used to getting out of you. And they're not going to be able to anymore. And so they, since they can't control you, they're going to, you know, do the tongue wagging. But you know what? Just stay the course here with the art card. You know, again, with this art and this magician over here, these two. Uh, the difference between the two is this this is when uh, you are getting the green light from spirit that you have the tools that you need to be able to create the life that you want here with the art card you are utilizing the tools that are at your disposal to be able to create the life that you want in a tangible way so that means that um the things that you were used to doing, you are now making a conscious effort not to do these things. You're starting to make, you know, the small changes to make your life better. And it's going to feel great, Six of Cups. Gonna feel great. It's gonna be real sweet. Like, hey, man, high-fiving yourself. Look what I'm doing. Yeah, man, doing a good thing. Okay, so here comes the Four of Swords, and this is like the rest card. This would be a good time for you to step back and give yourself credit for what you have accomplished thus far. Let me say that one more time. This is a good time to step back and give yourself credit for the, comp for the accomplishments that you have created, that you've done thus far. Maybe if I say it in one sentence instead of a bunch of broken ones. Give yourself credit for your accomplishments. 
okay but this is a four which means there's more after this so don't just stand there and congratulate yourselves yeah yeah because um a page of pentacles there is some dirty work left to do okay you've done you've done some you've done some great things and now it's round two um time to gather up get back to like the grunt work and whatnot um but this is for something greater this is not the grunt work that you were doing before you've passed that you're not going back to that this is a new level so now you're back to learning new things and then you've got the page of wands right after that yeah and enjoying that you know hey this is a new level well let's see where we can go with this let's see what we can create at this stage in the game right with the tower oh, I love where this is going absolutely love where this is going so um, a lot of times people will see the tower card and it's like oh my god it's terrible and it's such a bad thing and everything that I built is falling apart yet the things that you built that's falling apart were temporary anyway okay the things that you have built up until now if the tower is coming up there's a couple of things that are happening number one your land needs to be cleared for your brand new house you can't build a mansion on top of a hovel you just you can't things got to be raised to the ground whole new foundation needs to be laid a brand new foundation that is able to hold the weight of a mansion I, I mean you just you can't this is this is the tower coming is spirit basically saying that you cannot put lipstick on a pig can't do it now if you want that pig to be useful you have to send it to the slaughterhouse make you some bacon some sausage or whatever the fuck but the way that things are as they stand now um, in order for me to be able to bless you the way that you've been asking me to I've got to get rid of this stuff now you can either grab a hammer and get to it or dodge the hammers because I brought my own your job with the Knight of Cups, your job is to see the big picture and continue to envision how you want your things to be and hold steady to that, okay? Because this is happening. So with that, you know, and going in and, oh, this is a really, oh, that's a really good way to look at it. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups with the Hermit behind it, um, first thing that came to mind was meditate. Get somewhere. Get, a, get, get, get somewhere. Get quiet. And remember why you started. Okay? Remember why you started. You've got this light coming in, this divine light coming in, and the hermit is here ruminating. He's not sitting there licking his wounds, right? He's sitting there thinking about all of the lessons that he's learned, how to apply all of this ancient text that he's been privy to. How does he apply that to his life? How is he going to emerge from this? Because the hermit knows that he's going to come out eventually. And we've got this light here as a reminder. This is not a permanent state of being. Okay. This is a place. Remember, like I said, with the last reading, not to sleep on the refraction period. The hermit is the refraction period. Don't sleep on that. Okay. You've got to have that time to be able to make sense of all of these lessons that seem so far beyond your scope. You've got to be able to make it make sense to you. Otherwise, you won't be able to share this information with those around you when you are called to do so, because you will be called to do so. With the 10 of ding and dang and cups right after that, because it's long term happiness that you're going for. And spirit says you can have it. You gonna have it. OK, why, why do you think why, why do you think? Why do you think we're doing this? Why do you think I'm doing this? 
And while this is happening, why did I tell you to hold your vision? While you're being protected from all of the rubble so that you can have the happiness that you've been asking for. It's the whole point. Ace of Wands and new passion to go along with it. Yeah, you thought it was all dead, didn't you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Your passion will be renewed. Your love for mankind will be renewed. Your love for mankind will be renewed. Because I knew there was some, come on, come on spirit. Come on, because I know there's conflict there. You see how other, you see how other human beings are behaving via television and social media and in your everyday life. And so you've kind of grown weary of your fellow man and pulled back into yourself, right? Um, with all of the new diseases that are coming out or that are being made known to the general public and the way that things are and have been spreading. It's really been fostering an environment where people want to pull back and stay away from and stay away from other human beings. They want to they want to seclude themselves, you know, and I know that this has been this has been very much on your mind. Like, how am I supposed to be? How am I supposed to be spiritual? How am I supposed to be a leader in my community? How am I supposed to show up as my best self if I don't have the patience and the desire to deal with the very human beings that I'm supposed to be helping? there is a level of reckless abandon that is required. There's a level of detachment that is required. There is a fear the fear, feel the fear and do it anyway with the fool that is required. And it will take a lot out of you, Nine of Wands. It's going to take a lot out of you. With the Queen of, Wands, Queen of Wands right behind it, you will persevere. Page of Cups. Because you understand that there's a much, there's a much bigger picture happening here. You are doing your part page of cups you are doing your part and focusing on making sure that your part is pristine that you are putting forth your best effort in this collective effort that we are calling this world in this time and space continuum all right spirit i see you there will be temptation to go back to what you know to what you remember be temptation to exploit the poop ton of knowledge that you are accumulating with this devil card also this is a card of caution not to become reliant on outside forces reliant on outside forces 
outside forces. Okay. And outside influence. There it is. Do not become reliant on outside influence. Yeah. Six of Swords. Um, because while they may offer a little bit of comfort, it is quite temporary and you're also pulling away from that. That kind of goes along with that whole seclusion thing because you're not relying on other people to validate you and that you're validating yourself. You do find yourself pulling away, you know, just to remember what your thoughts sound like because it is going to be very advantageous for you if you do. Now you're only going to get out what you put in. Period. Seven of Pentacles. You're only going to get out what you put in. So if you half-ass this effort, that's what you should expect to get back. Okay, if you're doing the darn thing and the, the thing, the darn thing is the thing that you're doing, well, and that'll happen. But again, you know, you're going to get out what you put back and they're not all going to be gems. So some information which could have, you know, helped you during, could have helped you during stage A may not be beneficial for stage B. And now you've got to get rid of it. You've got to. You've got to pluck it out and leave that for someone else because everyone is not moving forward at the same pace or on the same path with the emperor. And you cannot make people go down the path that you're going. Come on, kids, gather around. You are only responsible for you. Even when you are in positions of authority and you have people that may, you know, report to you, you don't control these people. Even as a leader, that should not be about controlling the masses. This whole act of controlling the masses is what got us where we are now. This whole act of controlling the masses is what got us here now. So I caution you as you're going into this new way of being, um, even though it feels comfortable, do not go back and bring the old shit with you, especially the old shit that didn't work. You know, this whole do as I say, not as I do, don't question my authority kind of thing that this emperor can give off. It's not really going to help you moving forward on this journey that we're on. Okay. You lead from a place of honesty, Ace of Cups. You, you lead from a place of purity. You feel me? Like when this comes to you, be heart centered as opposed to head centered this time. Heart's not going to steer you wrong. You've got to learn how to trust it. And then we've got the Four of Wands because this is a new foundation for you. Hello again, it's me. Your shoulder's where I sit. The half nobody sees of a silent partnership. I am here, your helping hand. Yeah long-term foundation celebrate that shit with the three of cups celebrate it hearing the dog days are over and we've got the king of cups You know this in you you know this in your heart of hearts. And you have learned a lot about your emotional content 
in how to keep it under wraps and to how to let out what the people need when they need it. But there is definitely an air of reservation with all of these deep, deep feelings with the lovers. Deep, deep feelings. It's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for taking some time to hang out with me today and for spending some time with this all in action. Um, until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye now.